Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I look very different in this intro. I'm not wearing any makeup, which usually I am wearing some makeup. I thought that this would be more effective as we go from this to this. So in this video, you can expect a full day wear test. I'm gonna be wearing this for a good nine, 10 hours, and I'm gonna see my family. I'm gonna ask people what they think. You're gonna get outside lighting, indoor lighting, a whole bunch of lighting, and we're gonna spill all the tea on the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. We are testing, trying, going to see what this looks like. I'm very excited. Before we hop into it, make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you have not done so yet. This way you get a little notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And if you've gone ahead and done that, then let's go ahead and hop into today's full day wear test. I'm in the shade light three. It's cute. It looks like it has a little dropper. It has a very cute, this is cute. It doesn't look like foundation. I mean, it is a skin tint. So maybe, I don't know anyway, but it says always on radiant skin tint. You get one full ounce. I will put the price on the screen because I did not do my homework today. I also have an hour to do my makeup, which may sound like a lot of time, but for me, it's not. It nourishes and hydrates for a soft radiant finish. 12 hour breathable wear. It's a light medium buildable coverage, hyaluronic acid and skin smoothing niacinamide. I love niacinamide. I've seen great results with my wrinkles. They're definitely not as wrinkly or as deep, I should say shake before use so I was right it's a dropper which this might not be ideal for me because I'm a mess so oh wow it's like very thin look how runny it is I love me a thin runny foundation like this my skin is combo but way more so dry I have fine lines I've never had any work done to my face I feel like that's important to note I'm not judging those of you who have I'm definitely gonna do it sometime in the future just haven't gotten around to it but this is all natural so I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I guess I'm just gonna pick it up a little bit and apply it to the face I would normally do one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge, but I feel like because this is a beauty blender foundation, I just, let's just go with the sponge and see what happens. Really, really light coverage, like real light coverage. And that's fine with me. But I'm gonna put a little bit more and let's just like see how buildable this is. I mean, if you're someone that likes just really light coverage right off the bat, I can tell you, you will like this. But it kind of like blurred my pores. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit here. I did this side of my face. I didn't put a lot on my forehead. I just don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead because I feel like it's a dead giveaway that you're wearing makeup. So I usually take what's ever left over and then I just gently go over it. But can you see, it really is just like a light haze. And I didn't put any underneath my eye. I'll put a little bit for you guys. I normally don't put foundation underneath my eyes because I put concealer anyway. I wouldn't call this dewy because it doesn't look wet on my face but looking in the monitor like there's definitely there's definitely a glow apply it directly to the skin and I'm gonna like rub it in a little bit more on this side and pat it like kind of just get a little bit on there and then I'm gonna go in with the sponge and blend it out because I feel like picking it up from the back of your hand with the sponge eats a little bit of the product and I do have a nice little pimple right here so let's see how she gets covered up. I mean, I'm not expecting much coverage. I wear light, light coverage to work. I like my skin to be able to breathe and this could definitely be in the rotation. However, the only downside to that is that this is heavy. And a lot of the times I bring my makeup to work with me because I'm just not a morning person. And a lot of the times I just go in the bathroom when I get there and throw on a little bit of makeup just to look a little less dead. But if you're someone that's gonna throw this on in the morning at your vanity in the bathroom, not a big deal. And this dropper is going to be a mess. Like this is going to be a mess for me. But yeah, I, this is definitely light, like bordering the beginnings of medium.
going to be honest. However, do keep in mind, this could take a turn. You never know. This is just the beginning. As of right now, it's kind of sitting in my lines a little bit. It did pair pretty decently with the makeup products that I paired with it today. So that being my Japanese cream bronzer, my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Everything will be listed down below that is on my face. A lot of the time when you put foundation on, it sits on top, which I feel like is kind of what it's doing right now. But hopefully the lines that it is exaggerating at the moment, it will kind of sink into them and plump them up because this does have hyaluronic acid in it. This is a skin tint and they never said that this was for a full beat kind of makeup look, so do keep that in mind. I didn't put too much makeup on and it didn't take me too much time. So those are my initial thoughts. I'm excited to see how the day goes. I'm excited to ask other people, so let's go. So this is my three hour check-in in natural lighting. I'm in the car and I have to say, I am loving this product so far. Still have the radiance, but I'm still not dewy, still not greasy looking. And I feel like the radiance in this product adds an extra layer of coverage. The way that this picks up the light, it gives you like a Snapchat filter over your face. My pores, they really don't look bad considering this is so radiant. I did notice that my lines on my forehead were a little bit prominent and there was a little bit of patchiness around my lips where I did powder. So I just think that the less products you you pair with this foundation, the better the foundation will shine. Your makeup looks good. How about my makeup? What am I judging here? My foundation. Side note, actually, this is a foundation you gave me that smells like citrus or lemons. Wait, or something. is that Kat Von D? Which one did I give you? It spritzes out. I feel like you used it recently in your it video and you said it's your favorite. Out. And it smells very citrusy and it has um, SPF in it. It's like a tube, oh, but you God. still go like that. You don't like this one? Is it CC Plus? I don't it know, cosmetics? but you like it because it, it looks, looks good. good. Do you think, do you like it yourself though? Yeah, I never I wear think it looks anymore, good. So yeah, my makeup looks good too. So I'm judging you your it out. I didn't have enough balls to wing it out today. Okay, your anyway. skin looks very my good. My face. Does it really? Way better than mine. Mine's very dry. I feel like yours looks very like light. Like there's nothing on it, but yeah, I can't like see a single light. flaw. Like, really? Yes. It looks I feel very like full coverage, but I, like not thick. It's a it's a skin tint, so it's like supposed to be really light coverage. A skin tint. But I felt like you could see my lines. Like I felt like my lines were a little prominent. No, I don't think so. I feel I, like mine it, looks more prominent. Look at this one. It's gotten better. See that one? Okay, we need to figure out what foundation this is. Did you powder? Yeah, I did. I don't think I have a good powder either. Okay. I well, just I have permanently powder. have that. You want one. powder for Christmas too? I'm done with you, but I just Anyways, keep buying because I'm probably Back to your face. Anyway, okay. See, like, what about the lines, man? Maybe a bitch is just getting old, maybe. I don't know. They're, like, bad, though. They're getting bad. They're not getting bad. For me. I don't like that. I think they look good. This side is worse, a though, little because lines, I a little, sleep um, on this side. This side is so much better. Isn't that they weird? They say you have to sleep on your back. I can't. I smush the shit I out of my face. Too. Wow, I think your face looks beautiful. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I did a really poor job of documenting my <laughs> wear test today, but this is 10 hours in and I'm gonna give you quite a few looks at this foundation in various lighting. So here I am in my beauty room with just like the light in my room on and my skin looks really blurred, kind of looks perfect. I mean, you can't see a wrinkle, you can't see a pore. It looks really, really good. So I decided to go by my vanity and turn on one of my makeup lights, which is a little bit harsher and you can see my pores a little bit better. You can definitely see some of my lines Lines. Texture around my mouth is a little bit more prominent in this lighting, but overall like it just it looks good You can see the makeup really didn't break up anywhere Which is a little shocking to me because this is such light coverage Makeup, you know, you would think it would leave your face a lot quicker because there's not a lot of coverage to cover you but then of course I did want to show you guys what this looks like in my bathroom which in my opinion is like the harshest lighting it's a little bit yellow and you can see my pores a lot more here you can see my texture a lot more here but just like look how radiant this foundation is still 10 hours in and I don't look greasy guys my lines definitely look a lot better than when I started this wear test I really feel like the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid really sunk into my skin and helped to really plump my skin in order to fill my fine lines in this is highly highly impressive hello welcome back it is a new day um i am wearing this foundation again i wanted to give it another try it's really a skin tint but you know i'm just gonna call it a foundation i feel like we all know what we're talking about here 
I'm not having a good makeup day. I just feel like from the beginning, I knew it wasn't gonna be one. Anyone else ever, you just like know it's not a good one, but you just continue on because you wrote down things in your planner that you need to get done. You have deadlines that you need to make. And yes, you just find yourself with a full face of makeup that you absolutely hate. Skin tint is not the issue today. I just feel like it's everything else. Um, my brows didn't come out the way that I wanted them to. I'm not like loving this lip. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury new iconic mini lip wardrobe. There's four different lipsticks. I think it's called Red Carpet Red. I paired it with a brown lip liner. That's usually my go-to and I'm just, I'm not loving it, but I did a video for TikTok and Instagram. I wanted to show you guys the colors without lip liners. Basically, long story short, I have to go in with a lip liner first. That's just the way that I do my lips. And I feel like I'm just not happy with how the lips came out because I didn't go in the sequence of my choice that I typically like to follow. So she's a moody thing today, needless to say. But we are here. We are doing another wear test. I'm not gonna be wearing this skin tint for like that many more hours because I've already been wearing it for three. I just wanted to try out this skin tint with other products. I loved how it actually held up yesterday. As the day went on, just started to sink into my skin more. My lines started to disappear and I was a little textured around my mouth, but I wanted to try it again today because it may have been the skin tint mixed in with the concealer that I used yesterday. I'm not loving any of my concealers. My under eyes today look like trash. I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. I'm just, I'm not loving it, but I just wanted to put a little concealer underneath my eyes, which is the only place that I have it. Everywhere else on my face, no concealer. It's the skin tint. I did put cream bronzer, my cream blush that I wear every single day, my Tower 28 and Happy Hour. I wanted to test that on top of this skin tint because I just think this is not a foundation where you're gonna go for like a full beat. This is like an easy everyday breezy kind of makeup look. I don't think that this is a product that will mesh well with a lot of product on top of it. It's really meant to be light and airy. It feels really nice on the skin. The only area of my face that's bothering me is my concealer. I just, I need to get rid of this makeup forever one, but we're not complaining and that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about the skin tint. So I look like Wednesday Adams. I look so effing pale. I'm not feeling myself. I feel very self-critical this weekend. I don't know what's going on, but just ended my period. I feel like once my period ends, like that next week, I'm kind of just like a mopey, schmopey thing. Anyway, hormones, can't explain them. Okay, I've been wearing this for three hours today so far, so there is some texture around my mouth, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm thinking maybe an hour or two and it will mesh a little bit better. So this is day two, a special edition wear test. You guys are getting two days. You're seeing two different ways that I went and paired this foundation. Um, also though, side note, should have mentioned this from the beginning. Yesterday, I prepped my face with my SPF sunscreen and today I put absolutely no skincare on my face. Woke up, washed my face, put the foundation or skin tint directly onto my face to see how it genuinely pairs with my skin. The skin looks nice, you know, it looks nice and it's light. My under eyes look like shit, but again, that's my concealer. Okay, it's gonna be a fun one. Here we are four and a half hours in. I brought you guys downstairs in some yellow lighting and again, kind of just like perfect radiant skin. You cannot see a single pore on my face. You cannot see a single wrinkle on my face. But again, guys, in case you didn't know, like lighting is really everything. So while my skin looks amazing here and overall it does look pretty good, I'm not gonna complain. Let me bring you guys to the kitchen where the lighting is a little bit more harsh and you'll be able to see more texture throughout my skin. You can definitely see a little bit more texture. I mean, it's really not that much texture though. My fine lines are not that prominent and I'm gonna move by a window to show you guys a little bit more natural lighting, but do keep in mind, you know, the days are very short now, so I don't have a lot of lighting to work with. But yeah, guys, the radiance is really on fleek. I just feel like, again, this gives the perfect like Instagram, Snapchat sort of filter to your face, you know, and you really don't even need to do much. I am wearing like the littlest bit of makeup. Eight hours in and I'm sitting in front of a beauty light so you guys can see a little bit more of what it is we got going on. So texture, definitely not too bad though. I honestly can't complain. And again, for day two, I am ending this on the same foot I ended yesterday and just saying that this is is a highly, highly impressive skin tint. It is currently eight o'clock. I have been wearing this skin tint 
since 12. So I've been wearing it for eight hours. This is not like the longest wear test, but I've decided my final thoughts. It is what it is, guys. It is a skin tint. I think it does a beautiful job of making the skin look radiant without being too greasy looking or too dewy looking. It's super comfortable. I don't feel anything on my skin. Really light coverage. So if you're someone that has pretty decent skin, but you kind of just want like a filter over your skin to make it look more even, I definitely think that this is the kind of makeup for you. Date night, I don't think I would gravitate towards this. Special occasions, I don't think I would gravitate towards this, but definitely every day. This is nice. I will give it that. It doesn't look as textured here as it did yesterday when I put concealer in these areas and powdered. So I definitely think that light creamy makeup is the move with this. I would not pair this too much with powder. I would put my Tower 28 blush on it, which is what I use today. A little bit of cream bronzer, concealer where I need it, and then just only powder the sections of my face that I need. And I think that is going to give you the best mileage out of this product. Would I recommend it? Yes. Those are my final thoughts. If you did try the skin tint, scroll down, let me know in the comment section what did you think? Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you have not done so yet. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.